I'm Stephanie Castro from Port St. Lucie, Florida. On August 9th, um, my husband was home. He was tinkering around in the garage. We have Duke and Princess, who are the dogs, the subject of this whole matter. Um, they were out here and animal control happened to be driving down the street when the dogs ran over my neighbor, who's next door over here, was coming over to apparently let my husband know that the dogs no, were out. Because he says they were right on his, you know, down there on the hill. My husband says they were up the hill. More. The animal control officer says they were apparently in the middle of the street. So, you know, <laughs> everybody has a different side to it. All right, so he has no complaint it. about your dogs. No, they ran up to him barking, according to animal control, that was in a menacing manner. Um, even though it wasn't on public property, they wrote me a citation. Okay. August 25th, she came back, told me um, she had paperwork for me. They were going to declare my dogs dangerous. And why is that? Based upon this incident from August 9th. So where she witnessed them. A month later, she's uh, coming back to you? Three weeks later, yeah. She's telling me that they are being declared dangerous. And I said, based on you seeing them run up on someone and she's like yeah based on that that's I did my investigation I did a thorough investigation and, and she had caught us right as my husband and I and my son were leaving for work because we do work locally we were actually in Fort Pierce which is the next city a few hours later she comes back as we are pulling into the driveway we're getting home from work and she comes and says we just had a report that your dogs are out again and I said that's funny. My dogs are locked in a kennel still. Like, we had just got home. We hadn't even been in the house to unlock the kennel. They both have cages. They were in the cages inside a locked house. My other children are at school. My son's with us. How would they get out of the house? Did and you then take her inside and show no, her? She didn't even, she didn't want to be bothered with she it. She refused to go she, and look at the dogs in the kennel. I said, you can see they're in the house in the kennel, and she didn't even want to go in. She's never stepped foot inside my house. So she said, well, we have to take the dogs because they're declared dangerous. And I said, I'm not giving you my dogs. That's not, th that did not happen. Unless you have proof that, that they've been out, you're not taking them. She said, if you refuse to give them to us, you can go to jail. I said, then you better get the police here. Then. And I went. So all day, everything is fine. It's about six o'clock. My husband and I are in my room relaxing. The dogs are all with us. We're watching a movie. My son comes in and says, mom, the police are here and animal controls with them. So I come out and an officer from Port St. Lucie police, he says, we have an, an order signed by the judge to take your dogs. And I'm like, take them for what? They're, they're in the house doing nothing. They haven't done anything wrong. And he said, well, according to the order they did, they attacked somebody. And I'm like, have can I see the this order? order? He says, no, I can't let you see yeah. it. He said, well, the order says if you don't um, let us take your dogs, we can arrest you. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not letting you take my dogs. He's like, oh, you're not? Okay, do me a favor. Give your husband your phone. And he's like, um, just give it to him. He, of course, cuffs me and gives my husband my phone. And no Miranda rights. He just says, you're being arrested. The warrant says that we can arrest you if you don't give over the dogs. What a pretty baby! See? Now look at that picture. Look at you! Hi, baby. Aren't you sweet? <laughs> what a dangerous dog you are. Look at you. Hi, baby. What a dangerous dog. Hi, sweetie. Look how scary How has this dog been? I'm not here to make any comments. I'm just showing you the dog. Okay, you can't make comments? Nope. Oh, Hi, honey. I know he's Can they pet him? To. That's the only thing. It's if they get hurt. Then he's going to be stressed Ooh, out because you're, good. you know, we're going to put him back. I in know. The I understand, now. but we needed to make sure he was okay. I mean, I've been well deceived enough by these people. That's what we're here for. <laughs> I know. 
Why is he so skinny? Because he's eating whatever they feed him in here. Are you allowed to tell us what kind you feed him? I'm not here. You have to talk to the Okay. Do you want any okay. I just want to know. I'm sore. I'm not feeding him. That's not the, the noise I was telling you about. He can't do it because of that thing. The dog. The way he's acting. I haven't slept. I know. Hi, sweetie. That's, that's the baby. I was smiling at her. She smiled. I mean, look at his ribs. I have a picture from the day they took him. He didn't have his ribs showing. His and, ribs and I'm not showing? saying it's their fault because they're not feeding him. I'm he's saying he's they're stressed feeding him out. something different or he's stressed and out. Yeah. Can he come to the gate so you guys can... I don't think he's allowed. He's not allowed to come to the gate? Right, Bodhi. It's crazy. I'm sorry. We'll get them home to you. I'm gonna puke. I know. We'll get them home to you. <laughs> Look how pretty. Hi, sweetie. Aww. She's not a very meaty dog to begin with, but her ribs don't show. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. How old is she? She's two. September 5th, she turned two. Mm -hmm. I can't come see you, baby. Very pretty. Hi, baby. I'm done with her eyes. I'm gonna cry. Hi, baby. Oh, I'm gonna get you food, I promise. 